Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some more Fallout 4. Here we see the Minutemen leaving the Museum of Freedom, making their way to Sanctuary for the first time where they are going to settle down. I am actually going to be following them back to Sanctuary because there's a couple of things we need to do there before we can really begin our journey heading south in the Commonwealth. Now right now I do have my power armor, which is nice, it needs repair, it's the first set you get, it's all nice and rusty and you're missing I think an arm and a leg and apparently you can just walk through sandbags with it um we're probably gonna have to leave it up in sanctuary at least for a little bit of time because as you guys can see there in the bottom right hand side of your screen the fusion core that i have in this is getting close to running out you know it's going down and once it goes out you cannot operate your power armor anymore you need more fusion cores so i think what's gonna have to happen is we are going to need to sneak around Ooh, i forgot all right let's just do it this way and well, I thought that would kill it. Apparently not. And I'm not going to be able to hit it from that distance. It's just running away from me. You jerk. We didn't go this way because I avoided the Red Rocket truck stop before. Are you going to come back? <laughs> I think he's gone. Okay, so we need to avoid Red Rocket. We need to avoid that completely. We don't want to meet dog meat. But yeah, so what, what, like I was saying, we're going to need to go ahead, I think, and uh, leave our power armor back in Sanctuary. And it's going to be myself and Codsworth for a short time, I guess. Well, I guess for a while. I don't know. I'm going to keep Codsworth think, for a long time. All right. So now we're back in Sanctuary. We're good. We can leave the power armor here. That'll give us time uh, in our journeys to, you know, try and find some more fusion cores, as well as some materials, I think, that will uh, help us upgrade our power armor. Because right now, we don't really have access to really do anything. So let's just drop this off right here. Hope we have to walk out slightly. So what we need to do here is we need to craft our power armor here, go into the crafting station itself. Now, once here, we can actually repair some of this stuff. Uh, it requires some steel. I have some steel on me, not a whole lot. I'm not able to repair the entire thing. Or no, I did repair it. Okay, so now it's repaired. We're going to equip it. Now, we need the left arm to also be repaired, but we don't have enough material to actually be able to do that right now. So what we can actually do is just start scrapping some stuff from around here. I mean, that's not going to be all that difficult, honestly. Um, actually, if we do go to transfer here, we can actually see how much steel we have. Barely any. All right, so let's just start scrapping a couple of things here. It doesn't need to be a lot of stuff, but just some things will be pretty good. Uh, we'll get rid of this barrel. I actually want to leave Sanctuary pretty much unscathed. Like, I don't want to, you know, get rid of absolutely everything. I, I'm going to leave it pretty much, pretty much the way it was, but we are going to take away some things, like all this rubber here. Um, things that I don't think are going to be a big deal. Like, I want to leave the street lights. I want to leave the rusted out cars and stuff like that. Because I think that stuff is pretty cool. So I'm trying to find some stuff maybe inside of buildings that I can get rid of that will make it look make it look like I didn't really change too much about Sanctuary itself. I kind of like it the way it is. Now, this is pretty junky. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this stuff here, I think. And the reason why is because it looks like somebody was basically uh, ransacking all of Sanctuary. And they just kind of decided, all right, we're just going to you know, throw everything in here. Because I guarantee this person's house was not this filthy when the uh, nuke itself actually went off. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of a lot of it. And that is going to allow us to, I think, have enough steel to actually be able to do what we need to do. Uh, we'll get rid of the trash can. Why not? We'll leave the couch. Uh, we'll, we'll leave the couch and the chair and the table. Because that's kind of funny looking the way it all is all set up right there. Oh, you can't get rid of that. We get rid of the files. We can't get rid of the cabinet thing below it. I'm going to leave the trash on the ground. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. That should be enough steel, you would think, right? If not, we can always, of course, go back and grab more. But that should be enough to actually be able to do this. Now let's go and craft and repair the left arm. There we go. Now we can actually go ahead and e Oh, I'm sorry. We can actually equip the left arm. Now, we don't actually have any actual mods we can make right now because we need to have Blacksmith 2, Blacksmith 3. I think Armorer is something you're going to need for certain things. Armorer for the paint, or you need some science there as well. And there's also different models and stuff like that that you can get, which requires science and armor. We still have any of that stuff right now, so we're not going to mess too much with the power armor in this video. But we repaired what we needed to repair, basically, but we don't have any fusion cores, so that's a bit of an issue. Where is my boy Codsworth? All right, so here are the Minutemen. That's all fine and dandy. Where is my boy Codsworth? I need to talk to Preston, I think, but I'm just going to decline wherever he says. Hey, hey Preston. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I mean, yeah, I used to, I used to like living here before the war. Yeah, 
I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. I woke up just a while ago. I forget what I said. Uh, there we go. I lived here over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Uh, maybe I woke up at one point to people killed my husband, kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find them. Just my son. Somebody took him while I was still trapped. Uh, have you run across? Yeah, was just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn, I'm sorry, but no, I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Uh, not right now. I can't help. Right now. That's your call. I hope you change your mind. All right, there you go. So that's pretty interesting. A little, little back and forth there. I like that. We're not going to be messing around with the Minutemen. Where is my boy Codsworth? He better be inside this house cleaning. Probably not, though. Gosh, here's the year special book that I never actually grabbed. We're going to put that into uh, Endurance, believe it or not. And the reason why is, if you look at my special stats here, it's like, what else do I really need? I mean, I have my 10 intelligence. I have two agility. I need two so I can actually have access to commando if we get a full auto, like laser rifle or something like that. Uh, perception is now six, which is what we need for night person. Um, strength is four, which is what we need for armorer as well as blacksmith. I mean, I don't really need any charisma. I don't really need any luck or anything like that. Like I've seen some people saying go for idiot savant even on an intellect build. Because while it will barely ever proc ever, when it does, it's a ridiculous amount of XP. But for me, I just don't see the, I don't know, the benefit in like getting a bunch of luck in there. I would just much rather put it into endurance. I mean, just make it so I don't take damage and can just live. Now, what else do we have here? Is Krognak the Barbarians? Go ahead and grab that. Uh, critical hits are with unarmed melee attacks permanently deal 5% uh, more damage. Where is Codsworth, I wonder? Oh, well, well, since we can't find him right now anyway, we are going to go ahead and check out the Root Cellar. Now, this is actually a pretty cool spot if you guys have never actually seen it before. So here in Sanctuary, going behind this blue house right here, and just to give you context, over there is the workbench. There's our house. Over here is uh, the blue house, and behind it, I hear Codsworth. He's inside here. Wait, no, no, never mind. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. That Oh, there's Codsworth. Here, uh, the, the sound I was hearing was the sound of my rifle. It gives off a hum. But while we're here, let's talk to, let's talk to Codsworth. Miss Lilith, welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Uh, you could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed... I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Yes. Yes, of course. Lead the way, Mom. There we go. Codsworth, my boy, now with me. All right, I'm all. I'm saying I'm over here, there, Codsworth. You're now following me. You're not just aimlessly walking around Sanctuary. This is gonna be pretty much the first time he's left Sanctuary, aside from when he went down the Concord and people were throwing sticks and stuff like that at him. So that's gotta be fun for him. He's about to explore the Commonwealth. His his master is now back. That's gotta be really cool. And here is the root cellar, ladies and gents. If you guys have never actually seen it, it's a pretty cool spot. How does he plan to get out of here? I mean, I get that he can float, but he, can he float up enough to basically fly? <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work for him. But, uh, yeah, somebody was holding out here. It, it's basically like um, like a poor man's fallout shelter. This guy is built underneath his house, pretty much. And, obviously, he's not here. And I don't think there's actually any clues as to what happened to the guy. But here, you have an, an advanced safe, which is why we actually take lock uh, lock picking early on. We don't have a lot of uh, bobby pins on me, so I gotta make sure to get everything the best I can. Grab these shells. I'm just gonna grab everything here. We can sell it. We'll run it to a traveler, I'm sure. No Darn right I did. I'm pretty good at that, ain't I? All right, gold bar. 
Gold bar, gold bar, good stuff. If you're playing on survival, you got some uh, purified waters here. Radio, does radio even work? Can I even turn on the radio? Doesn't look like it's uh, gonna get a signal down in here. It is! I mean, there you go, man. You got some ammo, lots of it, in fact. You have a bed even here. I mean, Molotov cocktails, right away. There's so much stuff here. Do I still have Molotovs equipped from earlier? I do, cool. And here's gonna be a stem pack and a right away. There's some pre-war money and just a bunch of food and stuff like that. Somebody was holding out down here. Now I imagine there's actually a fishing pole in there too. That's really cool. There is a house down the road that has a terminal on a bunch of different people. And I bet you one of the people on that terminal was maybe the person that actually owned this house. Maybe there's some information on them in there. Um, I think I mentioned it before, but there's actually like an event that can happen where a bunch of named ghouls will come running through Sanctuary, and they're actually the people that, you know, lived here in Sanctuary before the war. And just a really creepy, awesome little side thing. Here's another save. This is why we take this. Oh, the safe's already open? Cool. I didn't have to lockpick it. That's, that's sweet, I guess. Let's head down the road. What else is there? I'm, I, I'm fairly positive we have everything we really need out of Sanctuary right now. I mean, oh yeah, I can make uh, some weapon. I can upgrade our weapon. Short the laser musket. We can make it a three crank instead of a two. Uh, it has a short barrel on it right now, which improves its range. All right, so what we can do here actually is now we've actually gotten the three crank done. We actually have that equipped. We can actually upgrade the sight, but we can't actually give it the medium scope that I wanted. We can actually give it a short scope. We need rank one of gun nut to actually have that. We could, if we had nuclear material, put a reflex sight on it, but I think a short scope will do just fine. And there we go. That's going to make it so it's going to look real futuristic like. I'm not sure if I like the scope. That's, that's not bad. I'm not the giant, biggest fan in the world. I'm not a giant fan, but it's all right. Um, what level are we sitting at right now? Okay, so we're getting relatively close, I would say. But we're going to go ahead. Wait a minute. My house, the bed in my house is broken. I need a mattress somewhere, man. I need a mattress. And they're going to probably what? require me to shut Freaking kill you, Marcy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right. We're going to put this fancy bed here. Out of the way, jerks. And this is my bed. This is my bed, and we are going to get a nice, crispy 11 hours of sleep. And the reason why is I'm going to take Night Person as soon as I hit level 4. And if you guys don't know, Night Person gives you plus 2... Uh, is it plus two to your intellect and your perception between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m.? I am fairly positive that is the case. Let's scroll down here really quickly, and there it is. You're a creature of the night. Gain plus two to intelligence and perception between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. So that is what we have done. It is now time to begin our journey south. We are going to be checking out uh, some a lot of various things. I think Lexington is probably going to be one of the first things on on the road here. Uh, we can't just go straight to Diamond City. The further south you go in the Commonwealth, the higher level things are. And so if you're not doing stuff to actually level yourself along with it, then you're going to have a bit of an issue. And I got my boy Codsworth with me. I got my fancy new scope. Aside from that, I don't really have a whole lot. But leaving Sanctuary, who knows when I'll be back. Well... Probably won't, probably won't be that long, really. I mean, I can fast travel. We are playing on very hard. We're not playing... Oh, I can't, I can't go to the Red Rocket. We are playing on very hard. We're not playing on uh, survival. So I can just fast travel. Get a couple fusion cores. Get, get, get some uh, levels underneath my belt. We'll head back to Sanctuary. Get some stuff. If I remember right, there's the uh, Conquered Water Tower here. I think there's going to be an event up here. Actually, there, I think there's a settlement underneath that... Underneath one of these towers. And... Bam! I like this thing. Now, we can have it as a 2 by default, but we're going to crank this up to a 3. Yeah, here's that settlement. Now, I don't want to mess around too much with the settlement or settlements like it, so I'm not even going to go near it. But, uh, yeah, there is a settlement right here, which I think if you do some quests and stuff for them, they will... Uh, allow you to like make your home there and start building things and stuff like that which i think they have a higher like build 
like a ceiling than most because you can go up pretty high with this tower. I could be wrong on that. I've never actually messed around with these people too much. I don't even know their names. Uh, I played a lot of the game before I actually found out about this place because I was just like taking like a side route back to Sanctuary one day and like, whoa, there's a settlement here, you know? And that's just, oh, that's one of the cool things about freaking Fallout is all of the things you can find. Look at the deer here. I'm not, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother killing them. I feel bad. They won't attack me. They're just gonna run away. Hi. Hi. This should be fun. No, Codsworth. No, it's not. You stop it. We're here. Just look at the oh, animals. No. I'm not done Codsworth. Codsworth, no. Codsworth, stop it. Look at him. He's, he's not going to hurt anybody. Leave him alone, Codsworth. I never leave a task unfinished. <laughs> I'll find you eventually. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What happened to this raider here? <laughs> Codsworth just goes down there and just start, immediately starts talking to Shay. He's like, oh, no. I never leave a task unfinished. He's like, no, Codsworth, stop it. <laughs> that was amazing. What is that? Oh, it's just a truck. Oh, I'm a little lightheaded there. Holy crap. That was amazing. That was really good. Oh, what is this? All right, cool. 10 millimeter pistol, some 10 millimeter rounds. This is this. It really benefits you to take the long way, huh? I, if I remember right, there's actually like a, I want to say like a hunter's tree stand here inside of this, uh, not inside of this tree, but down here in this area. It's been a while. Maybe I'm thinking of it. Yeah, nope. I, I definitely wasn't thinking of this. I was thinking of like an actual, like a very makeshift tower with two raiders in it. This is not what I was thinking of. Oh, the Gorski cabin has ghouls in it. All right, fair enough. Go get, get him, Connie! All right, Cosworth. Oh, I, did I somehow miss? Holy crap. Uh, wait, wait a minute. There we go. I was going to say, I wonder, why can't I throw my Molotov cocktail? Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that didn't hit Codsworth. It probably did. 69%. That's, oh my gosh, I'm missing everything. And, oh. Your, your companion's in trouble. Yeah, I know he is, dude. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay, so we need to take some drugs here. We need to take something. Aid. Well, that's not going to help. None of this is really going to help. Best I can do right now is just run. I can use the stim pack to heal Codsworth. That makes no sense. Why don't I just use the robotics thing? And there we go. One, two, three. We're going to kite them just like we would in zombies, boys. We're going to kite them just like we would in zombies. There we go. I have heard that these high intelligence builds are pretty rough in those low levels. And I'm beginning... Whoa! 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 Where the heck did you come from? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. And a pack of cigarettes on him. <laughs> How I found the pack of cigarettes on him, I have no idea. But here's the thing, I'm putting so much, uh, I'm, this thing's not very efficient on ammo. I'm putting three, three, uh, cell rounds into every shot. Cosworth, you're good. Hey, Cot, Cot, you good? I mean, they are just ghouls. They can ding you, but it's not like they're, I guess radiation will be bad for you, but still, I mean, it's not like it's going to bury into your flesh or anything like that. So what was in here? I bet you there's a story to these ghouls here that all came out of here. Jason Voorhees style. That's a feral ghoul who's sleeping. We're just going to kill it now, I think. All right, apparently not. <laughs> I don't feel pain, you know. All right, let's go ahead and grab Night Person, which is going to give me all of the intelligence and a bit of the perception. Excuse me, pardon me, sir. Gold watch on him, I'll take it. Is there root cellar? Oh, here we go. They were coming out from underneath the place too, I noticed. I'm gonna take the hot foot. Codsworth, I don't need you being judgy. All right, chemistry station. Can I make, oh, can I make some drugs here? That would be very scientist-y. Okay, I would need, I need fertilizer, brain fungus, a Braxo cleaner. Okay, 
I should probably write this stuff down, like on a little piece of paper in front of me or something like that, just so I can remember it. Like to always try and like, because I pass by a Braxo cleaner all the time. Brain fungus, the cave by the Red Rock, it's full of it. Um, if I were to grab that stuff in the lead, that might be hard to find. I can make my own Mentats, which will give me plus two intelligence, which if you can get your intelligence up really high right before turning in a mission, you get a bunch of XP. So, so this looks like I can really make robot repair kit. I can make that technically. But I don't think that really matters with Cosworth. Okay, we're just going to exit this for the time being. Let's go down here into this root cellar and see what it's all about. And then I think we'll end off the episode. I don't think I've been down here. Oh. This is bigger than I this thought. This is a common sight these days. Huh? I'm sure some would even call this clean. <laughs> I'm trying to be sneaky here, Codsworth. All right, we got a weapons workbench. Some purified water. So someone was making a, making a life for themselves down here. You gotta respect it. It's a pretty big root cellar though. What do they have going on here? This, there's a radio. What is this? I like the radio. All right, taking some radiation here though. And Wayne Gorski. He's the guy that they named the cabin after. Well, it was probably it named after. It was his cabin. Finish him off, Codsworth. Ah, oh, boy, Codsworth. Now let me through the door here, bud. Thank you. Toothbrush. There's a mini nuke that. He's working on a mini nuke of, of sorts here, Han. Huh? I don't like all this freaking radiation. To put a little rad X on, a little bit of rad right away. So he's building a bomb down here. I mean, there's some duct tape here, but look at it. So he's got duct tape, a mini nuke, hemisphere core, a detonator shell, a beryllium cap, an alarm clock, and another cap. He was quite literally putting together a nuke here. Is there anything? Does he have a journal on him? Some papers? Anything I can read here? I would just... I think... Oh, there we go. And there's a wasteland survival guide here. So... Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. Whoa! Diamond City! I had no idea how to get there! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, and he's got a ball cap mine on him. Alright, let's read this here. This, I think, sounds interesting. Um, deep. That's what? <laughs> See how good I am at this game? I am amazing. Statement of intent, personal terminal of Wayne Gorski. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free-thinking citizen, citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly by as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and I have begun construction of an incendiary device. If you are reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp uh the news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor do not believe their lies let all true patriots know that what i do i do of my own free will and for the good of my country so they put so they put so he's one of those guys that like doesn't believe in cell phones and there's a tower, apparently, that's been put up in the front of his cabin here. And he plans to blow it up with his nuke. But he's a ghoul now after the actual nuke went off. So I wonder if he just, after a long time, irradiated down to nothing. You think he would have actually mentioned that in his um, in his post? Because, like, let's say a nuke went off and he survived. And then he had to, like, start living down here. If he just started, like, slowly to irradiate, you think he would, like, you know, mention that. And there's actually going to be some uh, rad X right here that I missed. Huh. Well, still, it's interesting to, to, to find these things. I'm glad we actually took the time to come down here and read that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. But the cross